What's going on everybody? Back with another master set. This time we're going to be doing Crown Zenith. So we got our play mat that's pretty fitting here. Uh, using a yellow or gold or whatever color they want to call it, uh, Voltex binder. Uh, they did not do a special binder for this since it is a, since Crown Zenith is just a specialty set, not a mainline set. So no um, custom or limited edition Voltex binder to wait on for this one. The Crown Zenith Master Set has 342 cards in it. The main set includes 17 V cards, 8 V stars, 5 V max, and 3 radiants. And then there are 70 Galarian Gallery cards that we will go over as we flip through. This is a really cool set. I'm sure everybody loves it. Um, I certainly did. I opened, I think, 10-ish of the Zashin and Zamazenta boxes. As we flip through here, we'll talk about that. Um, plus, you know, some ETBs, uh, a lot of the um, Galarian bird tins, all that kind of stuff. Just opened a lot of the, a lot of packs here because it was just so fun to rip, so fun to pull. Always something in whatever product you bought, so you're never missing out. Always some kind of pulls. All these uh, Zero Auras are really cool. So even, even in the main set, you know, you're not getting anything that you uh, are too unhappy pulling. And then in the, uh, you know, the reverse hollow slot, I think is where the Galarian Gallery guard cards um, would appear in the packs. This is a really cool page. You know, it, it lines up really well in the master set with all the Zashians, all the Zamazentas. You got some Rayquazas here. And just, you know, lots of uh, VMAX cards, V cards, and some V stars. But again, just a fun, fun set to rip. Not too big either, you know, so not, not hard to complete. Um, I did have to purchase, you know, a few reverse hollows here and there. Uh, these aren't like the um, Scarlet and Violet era sets where you get two reverse hollows per... Uh, pack. So, you know, a little more difficult to complete in that respect. Like the autographs on some of the trainer cards. It's pretty cool. And then as we get to the end here, again, for the set proper, it ends here um, with the one secret rare Pikachu, which is a very cool card. We'll take a look at it just because it is the end of the set before the Galarian Galleries. So just a pretty cool card. And not too difficult to pull either, right? And if you didn't pull it, it's still only, I think, about 10 bucks. So, you know, nothing in here too crazy expensive until we get into some of the Galarian Galleries. I think maybe the most expensive card in the main set is Elisa's Sparkle right here. I think it's like 20 bucks. I'm, you know, it's it's been a while. I did have to purchase this one as a single. I think it was pretty much the only card in the main set that I uh, didn't pull from packs. Um, like I said, I, I opened over 100 packs of it, easy. You know, probably 150, maybe. Just a fun set. So here's where our Galarian Gallery starts. Uh, if you've seen my other Master sets, those have all been Scarlet and Violet Era sets, so, you know, yellow borders here. I do think that that is one of the better changes of the uh, Scarlet and Violet Era. I know it's hard to get used to looking at Pokemon cards without the, uh, without the yellow border. But I just, I feel like if these guys had that silver border, they would pop a little bit more um, because I certainly like the look of them in the Scarlet and Violet era sets. But these are all great too. Um, some of my favorites, you know, I mean, Mew here is incredible. Uh, Toxtricity is also awesome. This Deoxys is awesome. Keldeo is great. Uh, the Electifier and Magmortar cards kind of, you know, tell a little story of them hanging out together. Just really neat, you know, um, above and beyond as far as the art direction in these Galarian Gallery cards, in my opinion. Um, as we continue down here, this is the first set of, uh, the first three of the nine, you know, panoramic art cards, where these three form a panoramic artwork together. Uh, in the master set, in one of these uh, 12, card binders, there really isn't a great way to lay these out where they are all on one page and, you know, 
form the full piece of artwork that these are supposed to do uh, like there would be in a nine binder or in a nine card binder where you could all put them we put them all on one page I thought about you know um, moving some of the cards ahead of it up and just doing all nine of these guys here here and here so that the set proper would continue here and then we you know pick it back up as normal on the next page um, tried it out didn't quite like it and my OCD got set off you know I just <laughs> I needed them to be in numerical order so they stayed in numerical order I mean this semi here is great this Luminion is <laughs> probably my favorite card in the set I think one of the best cards they've ever done I mean just incredible love it I am a bit biased I do have saltwater fish tanks have kept them my whole life so that's an awesome card. Um, but, you know, we have the legendary dogs. We got Entei, Suicune, and Raikou here. And they are great, great cards. Just awesome art. Uh, and again, not too terribly expensive if you need to buy them as singles. I think Entei is about 10 bucks. Um, you know, maybe 15, maybe 15 or 20 a piece for these guys. Um, not too bad. This is the first of the pretty expensive cards in the Galarian Gallery believe Mewtwo's like 50 bucks. I got lucky and pulled it, so didn't have to spend the 50 bucks to complete the master set, but awesome card. Just a really cool card. Just pulled it off camera to look at it again, whoops. Um, this is one of the sleeper hits of the set for me. I mean, for, I don't know, it's like, again, $10 or less, I think. Just crazy that this card goes for that amount of money. That's a fantastic card. Just awesome. You know, might seek that out in like a PSA 10 or something just to have it on my desk. Uh, you know, the Samurots are great too. So then we have, um, oh well, since we did just release Obsidian Flames and everybody loves the Nine Tails, let's take a look at that artist's other artwork here with the Isui and Zora Arc, very cool card. You can see why they brought that artist back for more cards. Uh, we go into our trainers here, so our alt arts or whatever you want to call them, full art trainers. Um, some cool cards spilling over here. And then we have our four gold cards. Uh, the Giratina, I believe, is still the most expensive card in the set. So I think it's, you know, 80 to 100 bucks. Um, it was the only gold I didn't pull, so I actually did have to buy this one. I think it was, you know, in the neighborhood of 70, 80 dollars when I bought it uh, through my local card shop. They match TCG player pricing, so I'm lucky to have them around. Um, but I pulled all the others, and, you know, that went a long way towards uh, not making the set all that expensive to complete, <laughs> you know, after I finished buying the product because. Um, you know, buying 10 of those Zashin and Zamazenta boxes, even though I did get a lot of them on sale when uh, Best Buy did them for 36 bucks a piece or something like that, that uh, still is quite expensive. Uh, nothing in the way of, you know, alternate cards, nothing in the way of promo cards. Um, there were promo cards released while this set was, was out, uh, and there are promo cards um, that are part of the Crown Zenith um, package of products. Uh, but nothing that, you know, has the Crown Zenith stamp on it or anything like that. A pretty cool set. Um, just a great way to close out the Sword and Shield era. I assume that they will do a specialty set like this at the end of the Scarlet and Violet era in a couple years, and I look forward to that. That'll be pretty cool, as fun as this one was to complete. Just, um, you know, 70 secret rares, basically, to collect and complete with all of these wonderful, you know, what are now called illustration rares. Um, and, you know, even with the hollow energies, those are pretty cool uh, all in one set. For the master set, I probably could have put a spacer here and, you know, made those all on two lines with the secret rare Pikachu moving over one. Um, and that wouldn't have messed anything in here up too bad other than moving this first set of panoramic Pokemon out so that, you know, the Paris 
uh, Puccina and Marie were together and then these three got shoved over one. So probably could have done that, may still do that. Um, I wish there was a way to move two cards over so I could have all my golds on one line, but still. Awesome set. Really enjoy it. Looking forward to uh, Paradox Rift. It's going to be another large set, I think, with a bunch of secret rares like that. I think there are 32 or 34 illustration rares and, you know, something like 80 total uh, secret rares, just like this set. So no complaints there. Looking forward to ripping that one. Looking forward to uh, having a set that's a little bit more difficult to complete. And I did want to say um, thank you for 100 subscribers. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we can do the YouTube thing. So if everybody wants to, uh, you know, comment down below, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff, hit the like button. I will do a bit of a giveaway. Um, I've got some extra stuff here that we can do as part of a giveaway. So if you want to do that here in a week or so, I guess, I'll take everybody that has, uh, that has commented, liked, whatever, down below, and we'll do a little package. We'll do the Gold Charizard from Obsidian Flames, and we'll do an Evolving Skies ETV if you're comfortable with it and you win the raffle. I will uh, hit you up, I'll message you, and you can, um, you know, give me your address. I'll ship those over to you. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate everybody commenting down below. You know, let me know what your favorite card is in the set. It's, it's really hard to choose in this one. Uh, there are just so many good cards. Uh, so interested to hear your thoughts below. Um, again, thanks everybody and see you with the next set. Paradox Rift, or maybe we'll go back through some of the other Sword and Shield era sets. Mr. Mew Man did a pretty good job with all of those though, so not sure if the uh, redundant material rule will really be something we need to go over. So looking forward to it. Hope everybody has a good week. Thanks.